After only 29 weeks of pregnancy, twins gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl. They are very small and have difficulty in breathing. Doctors and nurses brought them to the newborn care unit, put them into an incubator to keep them warm, and used machines to help them breathe and monitor their heart rate. Because they were born too early, more than two months, so they weren't able to suck and swallow well. They need a feeding tube. Thuy was very anxious. She wanted to breastfeed her children, but she had trouble expressing her milk. She worried how to feed him, to keep them alive and grow. At Da Nang Hospital for Women and Children, we have more than 14,000 newborns arrive every year. At the newborn care unit, we received more than 3,000 babies from our hospital and from the surrounding provinces. They are very preterm, similar to twins, children, or having congenital malformation, severe illnesses, or being abandoned. Research has shown that breastfeeding has an important role in growth and development of children. An infant fed only breast milk is up to 14 times less likely to die as compared to non-breastfed babies within the first six months of life. And breastfeeding could also protect against a third to a half of all pneumonia and diarrhea within the first two years of life. Breastfeeding is also associated with higher intelligence performance in children and adolescents and also prevents diabetes, obesity, and many other dangerous diseases. At Da Nang Hospital for Women and Children, we do our best to promote breastfeeding. For every newborn arrive, we put them onto mother chest and to help them to have breastfeeding within the first hour of life. And if they are preterm, we encourage family members or mothers to do skin to skin contact as long as they can. And this is called kangaroo mother care method, which has been proven to prevent hypothermia, infection, for growth and development, and increasing babies and mother bonding, and leading to better and earlier breastfeeding. But there remain some instances when some newborns do not have opportunity to breastfeed their own mothers because their mothers has severe medical problems or the newborn is too sick and transferred from the local hospital to our hospital for advanced treatment. As the newborn's doctor, we have witnessed many preterm babies whose mother cannot breastfeed during the first few days. And they are often given formula. And a few days later, they developed necrotizing enterocolitis. The disease caused damage to the intestinal tract that can perforate. And some babies never overcome this dangerous disease. Not all babies, very small baby, fed with formula will get this disease, but formula could increase the risk of necrotizing enterocolitis up to more than threefold. We have stuck wood to find a way to provide safe and nutritious food to our sick and preterm infants whose mother cannot breastfeed them. Sharing milk from other mothers carry potential risk 
of infection and contamination. So we wanted to have a safe way for our fragile babies to access to breast milk. Now we are glad to offer the most vulnerable and youngest patient with safe breast milk from the first human milk bank in Vietnam. There are about 550 human milk banks around the world that treat and test breast milk before giving to the babies in need. But none of them are available in Vietnam up to this year. So the mater maternal and child health department, the Da Nang Department of Health, have partnered with international NGOs, Alive and Thrive and Bath, to plan, create, and launch the first human milk bank in Da Nang on February 17. In order to open the first human milk bank in Da Nang, we had to work really hard to get approval from our authorities to conduct the baseline research, to travel to Scotland to learn about the human milk bank, and then writing the guidelines, the standard of operations. One of the most challenging things is upgrading our facility and buying equipment. Because this is the first one in Vietnam, we had to search more than 100 pieces of specialized equipment from refrigerator, freezer, to containers, to printer. Some of them are not available in Vietnam. And we, ha we had to import the pasteurizer and the containers from the UK. And it took many months. We also hired a design company to create leaflets, poster, a video clip, to tell people about the human milk bank and promote breastfeeding. In order to obtain just one milliliter of donor milk, we had to follow many steps. We organized class for donor recruitment. And once the mother are interested in providing milk, they need to pass the health screening test and then attending a course for breast milk donor, where we tell them how to keep the hygiene, how to store breast milk, and how to maintain breastfeeding. Before giving breast milk to the babies in it, the milk is tested, pasteurized, and then tested again. Many people would think, why do we need to do such a strict process? Why just give breast meal for the baby directly. Well, we need to follow the whole process because we want the meal we provide is safe and of the best quality to rule out on the potential risk of contamination, of chemical exposure, of bacterial or viral infection. So one of the most important factors in the human milk bank process is donor. So at the beginning, we were very anxious. Every day we counted how many, how many milk containers were collected, how many mums still on the list of donors. But finally, it turns out this hasn't been a big problem. 76 women were interested in providing milk, and 46 of them passed the screening test and began donation. One of those are three whose children received our donor milk during the first days of life. They are now 34 weeks, still in the newborn care unit, but not in the incubator anymore. They are on the, the kangaroo mother care position. Three try her best to express her breast milk and now give them direct breastfeeding. She was so grateful about the donor milk her children received, and now she wants to be the donor to our human milk bank. Similar to Thuy, the other 45 mothers, they had their own difficulties in nurturing their sick 
or pretend new ones. But they all have the same wish to help others, sharing drops of lives to other babies without asking anything in return. Thanks to their great support, 150 liters of milk were given and 140 babies received the donor milk. Many of them are very tiny and very sick. So this baby star, only 800, 800 grams at birth. Her mother has severe hypertension and she couldn't express her breast milk. The baby received the donor milk for four days until the mother got better and she expressed her breast milk. And now she became a volunteer to our human milk bank. So after two months of operation, we still face a lot of challenges. Shortage of staff is a major problem. Our two full-time staff have to work really hard to fulfill all the activities of the human milk bank. And because this is the first human milk bank in Vietnam, there hasn't been any instruction or legal guidance. So the team from Da Nang and other international partners need to adapt the international guidelines into our local context. Another challenge is that the cost of donor milk hasn't been covered by the health insurance yet. And this will be very difficult for poor family to afford themselves. And one of the most challenging things is that there are still limited knowledge and practice about breastfeeding among some mothers and family. So at the hospital, we had to run many classes about breastfeeding in many units for pregnant women, for mothers. And now we need to ensure this happens across the hospital and at on the health level of the health system. So, the Human Meal Bank is a place for giving and receiving love through the donor milk. And that helped to improve the health condition of many fragile babies who are not lucky to have their breastfeeding from their own mothers. But the Human Meal Bank is also an important part of the overall mission to promote the awareness of breastfeeding throughout the country. As we all know about the importance of breastfeeding to our children, to our women, to our society, the presence of a human milk bank always reminds us that we all need to promote, to protect, to support breastfeeding so that every newborn has the best start in life. Thank you.